in real realistic terms, like getting liquid water on planet is a massive, massive step to supporting life. So oh, it was so close, ninety-five percent. Um, can I do anything to like speed this up? What I could do, I, think, I might go and try and do like some high resource runs. Um, I know if I go over this way, I can find some. There might be some more aluminium, but I definitely, yeah, I think it's through here. I definitely know there's like some sulfur and stuff. Really gassy, horrible place. Don't need any of that except I'll take the, I'll take the radioactive stuff. That's always handy. Some aluminium straight away. I need lots of aluminium and sulfur. Oh, wow. I haven't found any use for those nuggets yet, to be fair. Oh, another ice thing. Okay, can I? Oh, I can get over there. <gasps> wow, okay, I need oxygen and I'm, I'll come back. Although I've got, no, you know what? I've got oxygen bottles. That's what they're for. Let me over. There we go. Lots of sulfur. Which is good. What's this? Oh, that's sulfur. Just hovering. There we go. Some osmium here. Oh, I've only got two. Oh my god, I've run out of space so fast. I need the osmium more than I need the sulfur. That was the last space. Um, that'll help. And I might as well get some water and food. There we go. That gives me a bit more space. Five. So the next levels are for like fives. One more space. Ooh, new message. Uh, is that where I came in? I think that's where I came in. Okay, is that the last bit of osmium? I think it was. Let's grab another bit of sulfur. There we go. I want to head back. So, specials. Let's whack this osmium in there. Uh, metals. Whack the aluminium in there. Uh, that special, the plastic nugget thing needs to go in there as well. And the radioactive... There we go. Okay. Um, was I going to make veggie tubes? Is that what I was going to do? Okay, I need a good seed for that. Cool. I'm kind of just waiting for things to unlock now. So I'm going to have a look at my... Oh god, what's going on? Uh, oh, I had a message, didn't I? Sentinel Corp. And again, I'll leave this on the screen for you guys to read if you want to pause it. Unnamed planet is located in the Zisha Prime sector, a pre-civilization sector crossed mostly by trade ships to travel between big spaceports. The sector count 842 planets and 13,511 stars is 7,000 parsecs wide. It has been identified as one of the possible candidates for future colonization. Okay, so this is specifications about the actual planet um, and where it's located and things like that. Okay. Nice. I don't know if that's useful to me in any way. What should I try and work on next? Should I try and work on the launch platform? That seems like the most sensible thing to, to work on. Although I need super alloy for it and I hate trying to create super alloy. Um, titanium, iron, that's easy. I just need the super alloy. What do I need for it? I don't need iron but I need titanium, silicon, magnesium and cobalt. Okay. See if I can find enough of these random metals to make some more super alloy. I think that was it. 
Now I'm close to my other base here, I think, so I'm going to see quickly go around there and see if there's anything worth grabbing. Yes, here it is. Now, what did I store in here? I had a super alloy in there, that's uh, good to know. Might leave one food in there. And one water bottle, you never know, just in case. Okay. Ooh, is that a run? Oh my god, random super, super alloy? That's... Did, really? Just one random super alloy on the ground here? That's a little odd. But whatever. That's two super alloy I just managed to pick up, so I can save those other resources for other things if I need to. Okay. Uh, why do I always, I always forget what I was going to try and build? Is it this? Okay. I was going to build a launch platform. So, one more super alloy. And what else do I need? Just a load of titanium and iron. One more titanium. That's fine. One more titanium and three iron. Okay, where am I going to create this launch platform? I want a kind of roughly central location. So maybe over here? This seems like quite a good spot here, maybe? How big is it? Okay, it's, yeah, it's quite big. Um... Yeah, against kind of like that. Okay, low power. Um, okay, cobalt. I need to create some uh, solar panels. Just need some iron. Okay, that wasn't enough. Uh, just need another cobalt. Or oh, bio lab. Yay! Okay, uh, power. Let's have a look at that one I'm here. 298, I need 408. Now, how much does that give me? It gives me 19, so I do need one more. Riley, um, okay, again, pause it if you want to read it. I managed to sneak in more information. I read that you have more chance of success if you build your base in altitude. I'm not sure why for now. And if you manage to heat the planet enough, some caves might become accessible when the ice melts. And what's the last thing you can. <laughs> End of communication. Message intercepted. Oh, for God's sake, cut off at the end. Um, build your base at altitude gives you higher chances of survival. I wonder why that is. Is it because the water will come in? I'm hoping that this doesn't get completely swallowed. That'd be a pain. Uh, what am I carrying? Water, food, and oxygen. Good. So I need some more aluminium and I need some more iron. Oh, well, I don't think I was supposed to do that. <laughs> this is a really cool little area, to be fair. I just need another iron and some cobalt, and I can create another one. Get a little bit of redundancy. I didn't realise how much power that bloody thing was going to take. Okay, that's a little bit of redundancy done. There's a crate over here I don't think I've looked in. Uh, might as well take those. If I can get some more aluminium on the way back, that will always be a good thing. Let's have a look to see if I can get in this cave now. Because I did see there was a gap. Aha! I can get in! Wait, is this... <gasps> is this that... Wait, um, am I where I think I am? In the Iridium cave? Is it like a shortcut to get through maybe? That's going to be annoying. It's hoping for like a new area. Yeah, I know where I am. Okay, let's, while I'm here, might as well have a quick look at the uh, launch platform here. See what I can do. Uh, so, do I go up? Oh, I do. Hello. Um, oh, I'm at the top. Oh, big red button. 
So I can make GPS satellites, uh, magnetic protection. Okay. So I need to create rocket engines for these. Attracts uranium asteroids. Gives a global heat generation bonus. Okay. Hmm, interesting. I need two... Oh God, there's so much super alloy involved. Rocket engines, super alloys. Hmm. I don't think I've got anything on this screen. I might want to work on the bio lab. Ah, Christ, that bloody needs super alloy too. Okay, I need some more iron. I'm ra rapidly running out of resources in this area though, that's the only thing. There we go, right, head back. Hopefully that's enough to create a few super alloys. Okay, super alloy. And I need that biolab too, so I need some osmium. Okay, hopefully this is worth it. I'm going to put it on the end of this. There we go. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Oh my god, okay, this is where you craft things like the explosives. Oh, okay. What fertilizer does? Does it grow food faster? I need algae. Where the hell do I get algae from? This is so cool though. Okay, so I've got a bio lab now. Yeah, I'm not that. Algae oh algae generator, here we go. Grows underwater algae. Of which okay, I need to be in the next stage. Place on a water surface. Biomass rocket, flower spreader. Food grower, T2, and a tree spreader. That all comes from biomass. Okay. Let's have a look at my thing. Did I get another message? No, I didn't. So, hmm. I feel like my oxygen's kind of stopped. Is it maxed out? I oh, know. Is, is that, did, that, did that go up? Um, it is saying I'm gaming, gaining some per second. Uh, the heat and pressure. Oh, hydration. Uh, yep. I need some food as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to do next. Hmm, no. I do want to send a rocket into orbit, but it takes so much super alloy to do it. Yeah, no, don't, now I don't have any more magnesium. Is there anything else I need to do? Bring some objects into their core components. But I don't understand what that means, because I can do that with the deconstructor on the tool anyway. How far how close am I to this? Well, I'm 95%. Oh, that's close. I'm close to liquid water. That's interesting. That's a like in real realistic terms, like Getting liquid water on planet is a massive, massive step to supporting life. So, I've oh got to be so close. 95%. Um, can I do anything to like speed this up? Uh, I could try and get another iridium rod. Have I got enough? Um, maybe? I need two more. Perfect. At exactly the right amount. I might not have enough power for this, but I'll give it a go. Yeah, low power, damn it. Um, okay, solar panel, I need some cobalt, aluminium, magnesium, silicon. Darn. Um, I could just try and make a load of the little ones. They only require cobalt and silicon. Or I could just work towards getting this again. But that requires bloody super alloy. Um, I need more aluminium. This is my issue. I need more aluminium. 
and I'm running out of sources of it rapidly. Um, I could just put a whole load of wind turbines down. They only require iron, and if I go over here, I should be able to find iron quite easily. Tell you what, I haven't searched over in that area yet. I might go and do that later. I do want to build a rocket at some point. Okay, good. Iron, iron is like the most abundant resource in the... Or at least a lot more abundant in the starting areas here. So, it's not a great solution, but I'm going to uh, basically build a crap load of terminals. Uh, wind turbines even. And hope that that provides me enough power. See that here, maybe? Yay, power restored. There we go. <laughs> that took way longer than it should have done. Yeah, I kind of want to have a look over in this direction. I need... First, I'm going to detour to this. Food. Yeah, it's kind of helpful. Detour to this to get some oxygen, and then I'm going to make my way kind of over this direction. I don't think I've been over there yet. Ooh, uh, quite a lot here, but don't really need it. I'll take it anyway. Oh, I've got, I have got some aluminium here. That's good to know about. Yeah, actually got quite a bit of aluminium here. Wow, loads. Um, okay, that's really good to know about. Oh, the ore extract has been made. That is actually going to be so handy. How much does it make to make an ore extractor? Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go explore in this area. Let's see what I can find. Because I don't think I've been over this direction yet. I went all the way over there and found the like walk gate thing, but I never went this way. Hey, I reached liquid water. I don't know when that's going to start actually actually filling up. But I'd be interested to see it. Because I had a feeling there was like a big ravine over here or something, which I never went into. Also, I want to just quickly check this rock formation, see if there's anything here. Looks like I can get up here, so maybe there's something around here? Okay, there's nothing there. Okay, but there is this ravine area, which is interesting. I think these, possibly, these big bundles of rocks are places I can put mines down. Doesn't actually tell me. Not that I expected it to. Definitely worth an explore, though. That's worth it. That's worth it. And there's some aluminium in there too. There's a cave back here. Tell you what, if I can get some silicon, titanium, and is there any iron around here? Need what, three iron maybe? Any more iron? That was iron. Okay. Let's have a look, see what I can find. Okay, another... Whoa, another cave full of iridium? Just iridium? Oh, is this an, an iridium rod? But is this an iridium mine? That could be very handy. Okay. I don't need any, like, major iridium at the moment. But that is good to know about. Again, I wish you could put, like, a marker or a beacon. Like, some more to go, like, floating beacons that you can see on the map. Uh, or in your HUD. I feel like this would be, like, iron mines, maybe? This has definitely got a mine area feel around it. This looks like a cave over here. 
something over there as well. Maybe crash ship. Okay, this was ice. This was melting at... Oh, come on. Oh, show me. That was 100 NK as well. So, can I get over this? I can. Yes. Oh, yes. Precious, precious osmium. That's... Oh, that's a good haul. Fertilizer. I'll just drink that. Take the super alloy. Bioplastic nuggets I'll take. That was a good haul. I might have to go back and just dump this and then, then bring it back. Oh, that was odd. Yeah, I haven't got space for a huge amount more. I'm very aware that Osmium is an extremely finite resource. Um, I don't want to use it all. Oh, yeah, I think that was it. Now, can I get out of here? Yes, I can. Good. Okay, let me just scoot along here and check. Have I got... Uh, I do have an oxygen bottle, good. Okay, there's like a crash ship here. I definitely need to come back. Definitely need to come back because I don't have anything on me right now. To I don't have any um, way of storing more. I definitely need that next backpack. I get that, f if you look at my top right, I get that when it hits five. Well, I'm glad I came down here. This is definitely a good haul. I found lots of super, in, uh, super metal ingot thingies, some aluminium, lots of osmium. Oh, uranium rod. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that iron. Uranium rod's definitely worth it. A fertilizer would be handy. What can I drop, though? I've got... Mm, drop of water. Grab the fertilizer. Okay. Oxygen low. Uh, can I get up to that base I built? Yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna take that, and I'll come back. Okay, I'm not gonna. Or should I? I could just keep going back and forth from this point, using this as like a storage. Or it won't take me that much longer to get back to here. So I'm just gonna drop everything off over here. If I was really clever, what I'd do is set up like several storage things like a couple of like the big storage lockers two per resource and literally just go out and pill for everything and bring them all back to one point it would take ages to do it but it would save me going out and searching individually each time I want to build something I'm looking I'm enjoying the look of this base at the moment like it's pretty cool I don't know what this red dust is about okay put this osmium away. I'm gonna pull the fabric out of here. That doesn't really count. There's something that should be in there. And maybe there's... Oh, there's ice in here. Why is there ice in there? Okay. Um, I guess the metal going in there. That can be used to make some more water. Okay, it's all all coming together. Uh, that needs to go in there. Right, I could do. Have I got any cobalt in here? One. Grab a little bit of cobalt and make some more oxygen bottles. So far, I haven't seen any of the liquid water that it was on about. I haven't seen any of that yet anywhere. And any I've got left over can just go in there. Okay. Now, I've got some resources. Not loads, but some. I feel like I should go back to the that area and collect more. I really want to see what the liquid water is like, because surely... What's the next stage called? Hang on. Bear with. Right. When you look on liquid water now, the next stage is lakes, which we're only 1% of the way to. I'd like to see the all the stages laid out. That'd be cool. Um, power wise, we definitely need to work on some more power. 
Um, I had that uranium rod, so all I need is those super alloys. How many did I pick up? I've definitely got enough to do that. Yep, right, where was that rod? There we go. Let's build this quickly, because this is going to be very much worth it. There we go. A lot more power at my disposal. That's going to be a big help. Okay, we've made really good progress again today, guys. I'm leaving it here. Um... I can't even think of what we did today. We did so much. Um, I mean, when I say today, I mean this has been in like an hour and 20 minute recording session, which is probably going to be like two or three episodes to you guys. But uh, I feel like we've done loads in that recording session, in the last... I don't know. It depends what it ed edits out to, but two or three episodes at least. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super happy. Um, I just... Oh, it's raining. Before I say goodbye, does anything happen? Because like, what's the difference between rain, liquid water, and lakes? Like, rain is obvious, it's this. But what's what turns the rain from liquid water into lakes? I don't know, it's... It's actually quite a confusing one. It's like... I don't know, I'd want to say... I'd want to say that, you know, I was... This should settle somewhere and you'd start seeing puddles and things. I should get some more food before I go anywhere else. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think this rain's actually doing anything. It's not settling anywhere that I can see. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea. So, I'm going to call it a day, guys, uh, like I said earlier. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.